in algebra so actually we have something like we, we, we want to represent something with the letters so kita nak nak uh, lambangkan contohnya kita ada dua buku tambah tiga buku two books plus three books so we will have actually two plus three so we will have five books okay so but tapi kita nak ringkaskan mathematician suka benda-benda ringkas ya ha, dia nak ringkaskan so 2b plus 3b maksudnya dua buku tambah tiga buku so dia jadi 5 buku 5b ha, 5b something like that. or we have like uh, if you have like another donut plus two donut this is means one donut so plus two donut so it will have three donut uh, something like this but when you go to the shop when you buy like two books plus three pen so when you go home bila mak tanya beli apa so you, you boleh cakap dua buku tambah tiga pen you tak boleh cakap dua buku uh, lima pen buku tak boleh tiba-tiba uh, jadi lima buku pen lima buku pen oh my god what is this why are you talking about no there is no such thing that's why dia boleh ada dua buku tambah dengan tiga pen you tak boleh tambah so dia hanya dua buku tambah tiga pen tak boleh pergi ke mana ok tak boleh buat apa-apa biarkan dia begitu ok alright tapi kalau buku sama buku boleh tambah jadi lima buku ha, bila mak balik eh, mak tanya beli apa dua buku tambah lima buku jadi tiga, lima, uh, tiga buku jadi lima buku so I buy lima buku mak ha, something like that ha, dua tambah tiga so lima buku alright so let's try addition so ingat addition dia kena sama term baru boleh tambah x plus 3x so 1x plus 3x so you can 1 plus 3 you get 4 so ada x ha, something like that very simple right ok uh, subtraction pun sama 4 tolak 2 ok cara baca 4 tolak 2 so you will have 4 tolak 2 sebagai 2y square uh -huh. alright so next one will be ok let's say number 3 we have 3a plus b minus a plus b plus 3b so you have to rearrange susun dulu ok katakanlah kita nak susun a dahulu so cara susun ok ni cara ambil cara baca ialah 3a tolak a tolak a tu milik a ya tolak tu milik a tolong baca dia sekali so you will have ok let, let, let me write in red ok 3a minus a tu cara susun ok seterusnya kita ada katakanlah b so plus b plus 3b tu cara baca simbol plus tu milik dia ya so we have ok let's say plus b plus 3b uh -huh, something like this so kita settlekan yang merah dengan yang merah yang biru dengan yang biru so we'll have 3a minus a you will have 2a ok b plus 3b you will have 4b plus 4b ok now you are done ok same goes to this one Okay, so firstly cari yang mana x square dengan x square. So we highlight the x square with x square. So we'll have this one with x square. Okay, and this one will be the term with x square. But okay, so we'll have to write okay, one over three x square plus two over three x square. The next one will be okay, we'll have plus two x minus x. So we'll have at the back there plus two x minus x. And then you simplify this one. Okay, one over three. Okay, how to simplify? One over three plus 2 over 3. You can use your calculator if you don't know. So, 2 per 3 tambah 1 per 3 dapat 1 x square. But, in algebra, kalau 1 x square, you tak tulis 1. You hanya tulis x square. Meaning that, kalau you tulis x square, ah, 1 lah coefficient dia. Ah. So, plus 2 x minus x. So, 2 tolak 1 jadi x. So, tak tulis 1 x. Ah, lupa nak sebut what, what is coefficient there. Okay, let's say we have 2 x. So, this 2, we call it as ah, coefficient. Per kali. Alright. And this x will be called as variable ataupun unknown. Huruf lah. Ah, unknown kita tak tahu dia apa ok ha, something like this kalau dia B dia buku kalau kita tahu nah, kalau kita tak tahu boleh ok let's say we have the multiplication multiplication is a bit different from the addition berbeza sedikit ok berbeza dekat mana tang mana ok X darab dengan X kalau tambah dia jadi 2X tapi kalau darab dia jadi X kuasa 2 ha, bila darab ni dia jadi bertambah kuasa lah berdarab weh ha, kuasa dia jadi bertambah power makin power weh ha, something like that so the next one ialah you kena ok let's say number 2 dia ada nombor so 2 dengan 3 dia darab so you have to do 2 multiply by 3 ok lepas tu darab and then you ada ok A multiply by A kuasa 2 so A kuasa 1 darab A kuasa 2 so makin bertambah power jadi berapa ni kuasa 1 ini kuasa 2 so jadi A kuasa 3 bertambah power dia power tu yang atas dia kuasa so we'll simplify this as 6A to the power of 3 ok let's say if you have 4XY ok let's say we have 4XY ok so ambil nombor dahulu 4 multiply by 2 so you'll have 4 multiply by 2 Ok, next one is Ok, let's say you, you nak X dahulu Ok, you X So, X dahulu Sebab X tak, tak ada darab apa-apa kan So, sorry Multiply by X And then you have multiply Ok, kalau kalian nak tulis multiply semua Right, another one You'll have Y multiply by Y So, ada berapa Y? 2 Bukan 2 Y Y darab 2 Y jadi Y kuasa 2 So, Y kuasa 2 And then you simplify this 4 multiply by 2 You get 8 X Y square Aha, uh -huh, Something like this Ok And then, ok Let's say you have this one So, firstly Always you have to multiply numbers With numbers So, half multiply by 4 So, you will get 1 over 2 multiply by 4 Ataupun nak kira terus pun boleh Ok And then, you'll have Ok, let's try H pula 
H dahulu Okay let's say H kuasa 2 Darab H kuasa 1 So kuasa 2 darab kuasa 1 Jadi H kuasa 3 Ada kuasa 3 dah jadi Okay Next one will be Okay let's say we have K K to the power of 3 And K So K kuasa 3 Dengan K kuasa 1 So bila darab jadi Darab K kuasa 4 3 tambah 1 Jadi bertambah power dia So simplify that one Half multiply by 4 You get 2 So 2 Sorry hmm. So you'll get 2 H to the power of 3 K to the power of 4 Actually you can interchange this sir. Saya tak suka lah H duduk depan Saya nak K duduk depan Okay 2 K to the power of 4 H to the power of 3 But you don't write 2 dekat belakang Yang ni Kalau awak tulis macam ni Orang gelap 40 hari 40 malam ni Tak habis orang gelap Dua-dua duduk, duduk belakang Orang tak tulis macam ni ha, Apa ni ha, So you don't write this way Okay You don't write Alright So you can stop there lah ha, Okay The next one yang very important juga ialah expansion Kita nak kembangkan Right, so ada banyak cara So, remember When we have like say Okay, let's say kita ada x square Maksudnya x darab dengan x Kita tulis benda sama dua kali So, let's say if you have square Aku faham petak kuasa dua Maksudnya petak darab petak Let's say you have bracket square Maksudnya bracket darab bracket So, same goes to this one Bila you ada bracket square Meaning that Ada bracket dua kali Alright Tapi apa dalam dia kena tulis lah Benda sama X plus y X plus y Itu maksud square Okay So, now we want to multiply Okay, saya tunjuk satu-satu X multiply by X So, you will get Okay, you will get Warna merah ialah X square Next one Okay X multiply by Y So, positif kan? So, positif Y So, positif X, Y Next one Y multiply by X So, you get Plus X. Sebenarnya Y, X Tapi Y, X dengan X, Y sama So, pilih X, Y lah Sebab you dah pilih X, Y kat depan tadi Right And the last one You'll have Y multiply by Y So, you'll have Positif Y kuasa 2 So, you'll have something like Simplify this one uh, Tengok yang sama dekat tengah ni Boleh Yang sama dekat tengah Can be simplified this one Okay So, now you'll have X square That one can be added together So, 2X Y plus Y square ha. Alright So that one is settled But another one, another method is using the rabbit method So let me show you the rabbit method Okay so Let's say you have X plus Y square So how to use the rabbit method uh, Tulis telinga rabbit dahulu X darab X maksudnya X square Lepas tu Y darab Y Plus Y square Ia tinggal kosong dekat tengah So kepala rabbit Dia kena darab 2 Formula dia memang macam tu So X darab dengan 2 Darab dengan Y So jadi 2 X Y Kan sama tu uh, So this is formula rabbit Alright let's try this one if we have 2a minus b square So meaning that we have to write the same thing twice So 2a minus b, 2a minus b Alright So now we'll have to multiply that together Alright So we'll have let's say okay 2a multiply by 2a 2 multiply by 2 you get Okay 2 multiply by 2 you of course you get 4 A multiply by A A square Alright next one 2A multiply by negative B 2A multiply by negative B So you'll have Alright 2A multiply by negative B You have negative 2A B Alright So this one will be in green color Okay So the next one will be Negative B multiply by 2A So you'll have still Negative B Negative 2 ba But you can write negative 2 A B Because you have chosen 2 A B in front there Alright And the next one You'll have let's say Negative B multiply by negative B That's how you read eh? Negative B multiply by negative b alright so you will have positive b square okay positive b square simplify this one so you can simplify this you will get 4a square minus 4ab plus b square alright if you want to use the rabbit method so still 2a minus b square meaning to say that 2a multiplied by 2a you get 4a square and then b negative b multiplied by negative b so you have negative uh, sorry positive b square and then the head dekat kepala darab 2 so 2a darab 2 4a 4a darab Negative B So negative 4A B So still you get the same answer Alright Next one A plus 5 to the power of 2 A plus 5 to the power of 2 Meaning that you have to write the same thing twice Dua kali A plus 5 A plus 5 Itu maksud kuasa 2 Alright Next one We want to expand this one So A multiply by A Of course You'll get A square So next A multiply by 5 So you get Positive 5A 5, 5 multiply by A Again Positive 5A And 5 multiply by 5 So you'll get Okay Positive 25 5 multiplied by 5 Okay So you can simplify the blue color So it will become A square Plus 10A Plus 25 Or you want to use the rabbit method So A plus B to the power of, Sorry A plus 5 to the power of 2 Okay Something like this 
Right, so use the rabbit method. So, A multiplied by A, of course, you get A square. And then, 5 multiplied by 5, you get 25. And then, at the head, kepala, mesti darab 2. So, 2 darab A. So, 2 A, 2 A darab 5. So, jadi 10 A. So, still the same answer. Alright, so the last part here. Uh, kalau dia bukan kuasa 2. Let's say, soalan bagi macam ni. Duduk sebelah-sebelah ni. Maksud dia darab. So, kita nak masuk ke dalam. Alright, so dia mesti salam ni. Salam, saya guna konsep salam ini. Dia salam tu maksudnya daripada rumah ini. Nak masuk dalam rumah ini. Dia kena bersalam dengan setiap orang. Okay, so tengok. X dengan 2 X dia akan bersalam. So, dia akan jadi 2X square. Sekarang, siapa nak bersalam? Okay, X darab dengan negatif Y. So, you'll have negatif X, Y. Siapa lagi tak bersalam? 2Y. Tak bersalam langsung. Kita masuk lagi rumah. Okay, 2Y darab dengan, apa nama? 2Y darab dengan, um, 2Y darab dengan 2X. So, you'll have positive for X, Y. And then, the last one maybe, okay, 2Y darab negatif Y. So, negatif 2Y square. So, now try to combine the one with the right, the same term. So, ni lah. Uh, term sama. So, kita boleh simplify. So, 2X square tambah 3xy tolak 2y square alright so you are done with this one